Alrighty, so this is a 2004 R6. It falls into the class of the 03 to 05 R6s. And today I'm going to show you how to check your codes on a 2004 R6. This should work for models up to a 2007, I believe. It will at least work for an 03 to 05 R6. Alrighty, so without further ado. Alright, so go. the way that you go about doing this is very simple, but you do have to do a couple of things first. Alright? You gotta take your seat off. It's two Allen bolts. You gotta take your tank off. Well, fold it back. They're the same Allen bolts. You move this back, and the green fuel sensor connector, I believe it's a sensor. I actually know I'm wrong. That's part of the fuel pump. You disconnect the green fuel pump connector, the electronic connection on the underside of the tank. That's it. You slide your tank back down, you're done with that. Now this next part gets a little tricky, okay? And I'm not going to be able to do this with just, you know, the camera in one hand. So I'm going to explain it and then I'm going to show it as best I can, okay? Key in the off position, all right? Now because my fuel pump is not disconnected and I have not disconnected my fuel pump, I have this set to the kill position, okay? You want it on the on position. Remember that, okay? You want this on the on position just because I have it that way, just because the fuel pump electronic sensor is still connected, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your two fingers, press it on these, and you're gonna turn this as you're pressing your fingers down, all right? So you want these to press before the main switch is turned on. So I'm gonna press these down, and while these are being pressed down, I'm gonna flip this key. You wait for approximately eight seconds and everything on the screen will change to a diagnostic mode. It'll say D-I-A-G, all right? We're gonna simulate that real quick. All righty, so we're gonna simulate this as best we can. I've got my two buttons right here. They are now depressed. I'm gonna flip the key. Okay. Let's see if we can see a change here. There you go. All right, it changed into diagnostic mode, okay? Now we're gonna hold these for an additional two seconds, all right? All right, so now you're in your diagnostic mode, all right? Use this button to flip up, all right? Use this button to flip down. So diagnostic 70, 62, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth, all right? So you can see I don't have any current codes right now running on the R6. So, um, I believe 62 is current codes and 61 is history of codes. So I cleared the history last night because I had a, uh, an idle problem. I fixed the idle problem. I went ahead and cleared all the codes. I ran it for about an hour and a half today. Did a pretty good run with it. No codes. So we're all good on that front. All right. So number one, DO1, that is your throttle position sensor. All right. So you want in spec to be, I believe it's between 15 and 19, so that's a little bit low, um, but it is within spec. And if you've seen my other video on the idle problem, I'm actually ordering a new idle cable, or thro idle cable, throttle cable, because the old throttle cable is broken and it's not up to spec. So that number will most likely change to a 17 um, once that new cable is installed. Number two, I believe that's your TP. Nope, nope, that's, uh, that's a temperature of some kind. Um, and so on and so forth. So the, in the manual, if you look up in the manual, it'll tell you what each of these is. If you don't have a manual, I would recommend downloading one. Um, as always, the folks on R6 forum are very helpful, and a lot of them have keys to these, so they can tell you, you know, which diagnostic does what, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, if you have any problems or you're looking for codes and such, I recommend going there. They're good guys, lots of help. Anyway, now you know how to check the diagnostics on your R6. Good luck to you. Thanks for watching.